Good morning everyone, today we're back doing a landscaping job. I'm arriving to the shop here just before 7.30, I actually went over, stopped by the job site uh, to make sure the materials are there, ready to go here, just grabbing my laptop, grabbing my cup of coffee. Let's head on inside the office here because I, I haven't uh, really uh, looked at this job here in a few weeks since I did bid it, I think about a month ago, and it's been on the schedule for quite some time here, so we'll just put down the laptop, let's grab the piece of paper, so today we are going to be building a gravel pad for a mobile home it's gonna be a 40 foot by about 15 foot wide gravel pad along with some brush clearance so I'm thinking why don't we take the F450 and I think the Kubota should be a good to go here since we're gonna be using some attachments here but why don't we close that shop we do need a little bit of heat uh, including a sweatshirt here today since it is a little bit chilly but hey I'm really excited to be back here doing some landscaping so let's go get the truck trailer everything ready to go and we'll catch you guys as we're heading out if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please consider subscribing if you're new and hit that like button as it does help out the channel. The F550 extended uh, cab truck here is one of my favorite trucks here in Farms, and I really do like the two-tone paint, and this thing just comes in really handy here. I really do like it. Definitely perfect for the heavier equipment we'll be hauling, and very soon, guys, we're going to be buying some more equipment here, but we're going to be taking the Kubota. I actually did rent an attachment from the rental dealership, and actually, they delivered it for the job site for only an extra $10, and hey, that extra 10 bucks is probably going to save us a half half hour back and forth uh, either way but here it is we do have the weight here since we're going to be moving some rock around but we do have the back off we won't be doing any digging just a lot of front loader work here and uh, some work here with a few three-point attachments Alright guys, we should be good to go there, just getting the garage door closed, we do have a few hand tools here, a few different measuring uh, tools as well, but I'm pretty excited here for it. First time doing a pad for a mobile home, and it should be on its way very soon, if it isn't already there, which is going to be pretty exciting here, and I will say guys, I really, really do enjoy the landscaping series, it's so cool we get to do unique things like today, uh, with a mobile home and gravel work and things like that here, but I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far mine's been good and I hope everyone has just been enjoying it although the weather is a bit cold since winter is here it's a great time of the year but here we are wow look at this so like I mentioned I actually bid on this I would say about a month ago here so I'm gonna hop on out and we'll do a quick walk around and it looks like uh, the mobile home has arrived so here's a job site for today. The first thing we have to do, guys, is clear the land of all this brush here. It doesn't look to be too mature. It looks to be only a few year old brush here. I really don't see any big uh, stumps or anything like that as well. So the brush attachment, which I have rented, this was, I think, like four or $500 for the day. This will come in pretty handy here for us. But before we get going on that, I really, really want to take a look at the mobile home and take a look at the truck hauling this big uh, trailer. Wow, guys, this looks to be a come and swap. Oh, but yes, it is pretty cool here. Pretty sweet truck. It is a dually. And you guys can see just look at how much weight here. It's sitting a bit low here in the back. But here it is. Wow, look at that, guys. Uh, Let's see. One, two, three, five axles on. Whoa. Uh, definitely pretty wide here. Yeah, look at that. Imagine driving down the road with that. That's uh, going to be a bit tricky here. But hey, we need to get to work. I'm going to hop on the tractor. Let's get right uh, to clearing all those bushes. Now guys, this mulcher is made for a much bigger tractor. I knew that when I rented it here, but we do have enough horsepower. I'm not sure about hydraulic power to really get it lifted up here. Oh yeah, we are just uh, just lifting it here, but hey, we should be able to do it. Now what I'm thinking, I really want to get the area done for the mobile pad before we kind of start uh, clearing everything else because uh, we're kind of... Uh, having to wait on that guy to deliver it and things like that here but hey let's get right uh, to clearing it the Kubota seems to be going through it no problem here it is a little bit slow here I am just trying to really manage the hydraulic power here on it but wow 
you guys can see i think we went through almost like 20 25 feet here no problem which is great to see here now i'm not sure exactly why the Kubota has a really good uh a down pressure if you would say here definitely have to do a little bit of adjusting but you guys can see we are making it work here i losing a little bit of traction here at times with this heavy attachment on it but we're getting it cleared Well guys, a few hours later and we do have a lot of it cleared on out now, so I think we're ready to go for spreading out the gravel. I really want to get this base put in place here and get that mobile home uh, backed in as well. But I will say guys, this Kubota is doing a really good job here. I knew we were really maxing it out here. I did watch the temperatures and not once were we kind of overheating, if you would say here, which is definitely a good thing. Uh, these equipment are I bought to put to work. And we are definitely doing that here. Now, we really, really are going to be needing that uh, extra weight here. It's going to be a little tricky uh, just with how much weight the gravel is on the uh, Kubota here. But, hey, we should really be able to do a pretty good job here at it. Oh, yeah, look at all that weight. Uh, probably shouldn't be getting a full bucket load here, but we'll have to uh, just kind of slowly... Uh, do a little bit of a better job here at it but i think it might be a little bit easier to do reversing as we spread it here that way we aren't really driving over the gravel here but let's give it a go and hopefully we could get some more building material mods here in the game i think that would be a pretty sweet thing as well Alright guys, the pad should be good to go here. We probably have a few extra tons of gravel left, which is good uh, to finish off the driveway. But here we have it. I did make it about 5 feet wider, so that's good. And a little bit longer. So I'm actually going to set up a camera and tripod. And let's watch them back in this big uh, mobile home. Would you look at that guys, estimating a little bit bigger worked out quite well here for us, especially with the small uh, uh, deck on the side here, but everything is good to go. I think the town's coming later on today to hook up the water and the electricity, which is great news here. So last thing that's left guys is to uh, build the gravel driveway. I'm not sure if they're going to be doing any landscaping, but hey, uh, maybe we could offer that up and charge a little bit extra, but I'm going to hop back on the Kubota here, get going on spreading some more gravel but i i think i'm gonna put down the camera now so hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was a pretty fun one working with this mobile home but until next time thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more